It's like my body has gotten tired. I'm not inspired the way I once was. When I was stronger, I'd always take the long way home. But I know it won't get better. Simply pretending I did well. I got to fight it and feel the sunshine reflecting off the windowsill. That was exciting. Um, I was so full of joy getting my shower. I thought I was going to explode. And just so I wouldn't, I had to have something happen, so I got a flat tire. It's always something. So, that was on Friday evening. And I knew nothing was going to happen. I wasn't going to call Ken. Because bless his heart. He's been out here so many times. And I take away from his real paying work. To do little handyman stuff. And I'm very grateful. But I just got my renewal thing from my progressive auto insurance. And since my truck is my only vehicle, I pay for comprehensive. And I had received my new policy. My policy said if you were paying for comprehensive, then your roadside assistance, it's called like trip planning or something. I don't know. Anyway, if I broke down a hundred miles away from the house, they would pay for a rental car and somewhere to stay and what was it? Oh, food! And you get reimbursed for it. Well, I thought if they'll do all that, I bet they'll come out and change a tire. But I waited until today, which is Monday. I waited till today so that the tire shops would be available because obviously I'm not going to do it on the Sabbath. And then Sunday came and I was like, nobody's open. And so I, I was up at 6 a.m. and I had Progressive on the phone. And here's what happened. I'm talking to the girl. She has an accent of some sorts. Uh, my phone is barely functioning. And I'm missing 
parts what she's saying, and obviously she missed parts of what I was saying. Because when I hung up, I thought I was waiting on a text from whoever's coming to fix my tire. Well, after three hours, I decided maybe I should call because I've not gotten a text or anything. And I called, and the young gentleman finally got to, a real person, and he said, I see where you've got the problem, but it, the order was never submitted. <laughs> so the good news is, once the order was submitted, and apparently they go through um, companies in Boulder City. Boulder City is somewhere around Vegas, Hoover Dam, somewhere in that area. Way over there. He has just left. And I was able to get... I've got a regular tire for my spare tire. It's a regular tire. But it's up under my truck. I can't get it down. And I can't get it back up. <laughs> and something else I can't do is lift a truck tire. It's in my back seat. And that's where it'll be until I roll into town to the tire shop and get him to plug or patch the tire. Somebody, uh, uh, Ken said to have them patch it, not plug it. I wonder why. I don't know the difference. Um, but anyway, they'll take the screw out and fill in the hole somehow. And I'll have my tire back. And then I've got to get my shocks done. I will be getting shocks replaced, but I had to wait until I, well, the shocks have to be ordered. And once they're ordered, and then Ken has to fit it in to his regular work, because he's not a mechanic. He just happens to have two trucks like mine. So he's very familiar with how they operate and, and all that good stuff. And one of the reasons I actually got this truck was I was encouraged that there are a bazillion of them on the road and in the junkyards. <laughs> and so the parts are easy to get to, to find, and they're relatively cheap. I, think I don't need the best of the best. I'm not going four-wheeling somewhere. I just need to go to town and back again. <laughs> so I don't need the top of the line. And I don't want the cheapest ones because I don't want to do this again in six months. I would like for them to last. So get me those medium range. And then we'll put them on. And then I can start saving up money for new tires. Because these tires simply are too old to drive across country. Okay. So what I want to show you today are the things that I have, that I do. When I can't change a tire... I knit a sock. And I'm going to... Where is the sock? Y'all, it's my bad. I put on too many stitches. I've done this... I've, I've knit socks with 60 stitches before. But I'm pretty sure they're, like, too big. Because even after I have re-knit almost the entire thing, I still... I, and I've used up all that yarn I ripped out. So I'm back to square one where you saw me last... <laughs> Except for now, here's the cuff. So it's a little short cuff. And then trying to get the rest of this on my foot. It's a really thick yarn. It's a very different yarn. I'm not kidding. At one point, I considered ripping it out again all the way. And putting on less stitches. So here's the fix. I'm going to make finish this sock after I finish this gnome. Have y'all seen me get a little carried away with making things? Those are all, all my gnomes up there. And one of them, the first one that you saw, he's, he's my gnome. I made him just for me. The other gnomes are because it seems I can't stop making gnomes. <laughs> I took a break from sock knitting so that I could make more gnomes. What am I going to do with them? Y'all want one? Let me know. <laughs> Meantime, I've got yarn to make finish 
another sock. Here's what I got left, which is actually enough to make it a little longer and the toe. Then, this will make the other sock. This. This will make, so, I don't really like this yarn so much. It's kind of, it feels thick, but it's different than the yarn I'm used to using. And they will be good for, uh, well, in the winter, a lot of times I wear two pair of socks. And the truth is, I need to wear two socks on my right foot because that foot is smaller, apparently. And what happened, which I haven't told you about, I'll tell you real quick, my boots... I was wearing my boots, and I love them boots so much that I bought me another pair in case something went wrong and I'd have a new pair of boots, and I'd have a go-to-town pair of boots. So I had two pair, and I just put the other ones in the closet so when the zipper ripped out from my foot literally not being set in the boot, it just kind of well and I've got little ankles anyway so it doesn't fit good around the ankle and that's exactly where the zipper the zipper split and I thought well maybe if you, you know how you can unzip it and then zip it back and it fixes it that didn't work so I still have those boots and I will keep those boots I am 99% sure if I can find a shoe repair shop, I can get them to put a new zipper in my boots. So, I'm holding them. They're in my truck. They're in my truck, and my spare tire is in my back seat. And it's Monday. I normally go to town on Thursday. I hear I've got mail. So, y'all, I'm wearing my painting clothes because I got some painting to do. Coming up. Because <laughs> you know me. Six months to think about it and an hour to do it. It might take me a little longer than that. I'm going to paint in here. And I bought me a really pretty green paint. I also need some exterior house paint. I've got trim work. That Bob put up that's never been painted. I've got my new step. I finally got it fixed to the right height. Because I messed up my knee with it at the wrong height. I went for about a week and couldn't hardly walk. I had to pull out my knee brace. And wear it for about a week to get my knee fixed back. And so now the step is the right height. So I should be okay with that. And stop using... Stop always stepping down on the same leg. That's a mental thing. Okay. Um, let's see. Did I catch up on everything? Waterhouse. I want to do a video for y'all to show you what I learned. I want to show you what I learned about the water pumps that I did not know until the day it was installed. It had taken that long to connect it in my brain. So, yeah, I'm going to be quite the... I've still not done the fittings myself and hooked things up. But I have a much better understanding of what's going on out there. <laughs> the tire in the back seat, I will take to the tire shop. He will fix that and put the spare back up under the truck for next time. So there is the update to end this week. <laughs> Thank you all for your prayers. Thank you for loving me. And such kind and sweet and encouraging comments. <laughs> y'all are awesome. I love y'all. Just a
bless your day Life won't always hand you roses Don't let it get you down Keep your eyes on what your goal is And your feet on solid ground Take this with you Where you go You are love, 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 love You are love, yeah, you are You are love, love